Well, Nick, thanks for um, coming and having a chat with us at the fabulous G Live. How are you doing? Very good, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Good. Well, so the, the uh, Fringe Festival is now in its third year in Guildford. Yeah. That's fabulous. So tell us a little bit, for those who may not be, you know, as up to date with what the Fringe is and kind of thing, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about, about what a Fringe Festival actually is. Okay, uh, a Fringe originally mm -hmm. was simply an open access multi-arts festival that was generally on the fringe of a larger festival. So that's what happened in Edinburgh back in uh, 1947. Because the Edinburgh Fringe Festival is probably what most people yeah, kind of absolutely. know Yeah, absolutely. So Guildford Fringe Festival is based on the same model as Edinburgh Fringe just a tiny bit smaller tiny at the moment. Ah, so yeah. we're hoping it's going to be as big as Edinburgh one day? No, no, no. I mean, Edinburgh is a beast of its own. It's an awesome, awesome. Have you been to Edinburgh? Yes, fabulous city. Well, you know, the vibe is just mm -hmm. immense. And I think Guildford has got everything Edinburgh's got, yeah, in the history and the beauty and the art. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of size, you can't compete with um, something that's been going for as long as Edinburgh. But. So the Fringe Festival is kind of a platform for lots of different artists to mm -hmm. get a chance to get their, their stuff out there. Yeah, so as I said, it, it started as just as simply as an open access multi-arts festival mm -hmm. on the fringe of something else. What it's become is something completely different. Fringe festivals have kind of taken over now simply because it, they're more affordable and they're completely open access, as I said. So it's, if you were an amateur performer, maybe hadn't even been on the stage before, you're just as welcome as if you were a top touring professional. Right. So the kind of spectrum is huge and it's just a place where people can feel safe to try new things out at a very low cost. Mm, that's good. So tell us a little bit about what kind of acts we can expect to see uh, at this Fringe Festival, wow. um, where maybe they might be around uh, Guildford Town Centre. Cool. Uh, we've got uh, 10 venues this year, uh, okay. ranging from G-Live. Um, we're doing the Bellaby Studio downstairs and also doing the main stage of G-Live, which closes Guildford Fringe Festival. We're closing the festival on the, uh, the last Saturday of July with the 100 Watt Club Burlesque Cabaret, which is going to be awesome. That's our biggest show ever, so do check that out on um, G-Live main stage. And we've got the Legion Nightclub, the back room of the Star Room. We've got at least one event happening every single night of um, July and it's ranging from theatre loads and loads of comedy uh, oh, music right. talks yeah. we've got an art exhibition by Guildford Arts um, at the Evenardo Mill studio which runs for the half of July um, so it's really really something for everyone we've got comedy for kids down at the Bellaby studio and more kind of adult um, comedy at the back room of the star so you've got like a website, you've got a Facebook page, you've mm -hmm. got all those sort of stuff. So where, um, what sort of time can tickets go on sale? Where can people get them? What sort of prices are there? Well, tickets are on sale now. Mm -hmm. A lot of the events are free. Um, awesome. There's loads and loads of free stuff going on. Uh, generally, another thing that Fringe is known for is affordable, quirky um, art. So you expect to pay £10 and under. Um, our highest ticket price is £15 for the 100 Watt Club. Um, okay. But the tickets, are, the tickets are on sale now um, at our website, which is guildfordfringefestival.com. Um, on the note of the website, we've just um, had our new site built. Um, we've been supported this year by Guildford Borough Council and Experience Guildford, as well as our other sponsors, um, which meant we could uh, revamp our website, which I'm really, really proud of. So this year, you can check out our website. You can search by genre, date, or venue. And also, you can pick up one of our really cool brochures at any of our venues and also the Tourist Information Centre. Brilliant. They're the best places to find out what's going on. Brilliant. Well, great. So I think that's kind of... A summary of what the Fringe Festival is. It's mm -hmm. running the whole of July, correct? Yep, first to the 26th Brilliant. of July. Well, guys, I suppose get out there and get some tickets. And well done for a third year of the Fringe. Thank you very much. No See you there.